Mali take on Ghana at home. We'll have a look at the highlights. In the first third match, day three of the World Cup qualifiers 2026, Ghana versus Mali. As usual, subscribe if you haven't. Click on that notification bell to get more updates. Of age, but incredibly proud to have the uh, captain's armband and Ghana get us underway here. Nuama doesn't find a way forward, has to go back. Now the ball chipped forward down the channel, but it's asking a bit much of Antoine Semenya. Long ball into the area, the keeper hesitates, doesn't come for it. Perhaps, but maybe not too crucial in the uh, grand scheme of things as that shot comes in, stings the palms of the keeper eventually cleared from inside the six that was the shot that came in not easy nicely played Garner coming forwards here is Lamptey and he's just shanked that cross throw again this time goes long ball over the top the defenders missed it thankfully for him teammate covering him behind Goes for the penalty spot, there's a sprawling save there from Matty Zigi. Danger not gone yet, another. Oh, coming in, and that's a really good save. Oh, box, is that where they're going away? Well, they're going to do something a bit cuter here. Goes into the near post, moved away by Mensa. Opportunity knocks here. Now the crossfield ball to this near side. Picked up by Mensa, ball back in again. Taken away from Nurma. Kulibali, Gasca, four days' time. It's ball pinged over the top here. Mali on the attack. Fist, but a really nice injection of pace from Lamptey. Still Lamptey here, all the way down to the byline, gets the cross in. Still on the ball here. Garner eventually crowded out as he tried to get the shot away. It was Kudus. And, well, that's a back pass, surely. Surely that's a back pass. But a cushioned volley into the arms of your Golkin. Try to get back into a position for the long ball out. Nice ball in behind the first touch from Sinayoko. Not quite up to scratch this time. Good run, though. Eight minutes to go before the break and it just feels like Garner have just got over the hump a little bit here. Well, they are a talented side. You look at the players, you look where the teams they play for. There's a good team in there somewhere. Otto Addo just needs to find it. Find the, uh, the winning combination. Going out in the group stage of AFCON without winning a game, they also in that time made it to the 2022 World Cup in Qatar. Fortunately went out in the group stage there as well. Well one in midfield by Nurma. Now Semenyo makes a run down the channel, cuts back inside. Well, that's a lovely turn from Semenyo. He's going to try and pull the trigger here across goal. And that's going to go out for a throw. It wasn't that wide to be perfectly honest. Ball chipped over the top, nicely taken by Semenyo again. Tries to uh, get the ball in, and there's a high foot there from the defender. The referee says no foul. Mohamed Kuda stays down. Now Malik trying to ring the ball out. It's gone and all of a sudden at the end of this half in the ascendancy. Haven't been on the oh, Hedara bring the ball forwards. Dumbia turns, twists, tries to pull the trigger. Now the shot comes in here. Well blocked. A nice ball through for Semenyo, making the run here. He's one-on-one -on -one with the last defender, Semenyo. Cuts inside, pulls a trigger just over the bar. Looks frustrated with himself. Just to take the edge off that heat. Two minutes of time added on at the end of the first half. Ball goes long, that's well, one on the edge of the area. The cut back as well, the shot blocked. And then the rebound, double rebound, and in for the opener. And on the stroke of half. Here we go, the ball came in, the shot from Dumbia blocked it was. 
slightly casual pass there. Ball one high up the pitch. This is nice play. Lamptey in behind. Good ball in there. And Zemenia couldn't quite make contact. The ball back in. And eventually goes out for a corner. Semenyo so close to equalising there in the first minute of the second half. Lovely ball in. He just couldn't quite get the contact he needed. It was at full stretch. Lofted forward. Semenyo gets a touch. Well, eventually falls nicely here for Garner. Kudus denied on the edge of the six-yard box. A roar comes up from the home fans. Danger not gone yet, though. Ball whipped into the back post, and there's the equaliser. Ernest Neumann. The ball swung in from the right. It was a perfect delivery. And Garner, back on level terms, breathing Really prowling the edge of that technical area now. Guindo feeds a good looking ball in there. And Lamptey again with a nice first touch and an opportunity here for Garner and they're streaming forwards here. Lamptey, the furthest man forward, he's right offside now, he's out of the play. And that's a poor pass eventually from Kumali. In the heat starting to get to both sets of players. And it's still over 35 out there. Well, great twisting and turning here, the crowd loving that. And here comes the shot, and it's just wide of the upright from Torre. Lovely build up from Mali. The finishing touch not quite there. Forwards again. Oh, it's opening up here. Well, he's gone now. Oh, he's in. There's Nene Dorjales. Pass doesn't get the one two. To be fair, I think there was a bit too much traffic to thread that ball through. Now the ball comes back in again. And then it's just wide. Elba El Torre. And a couple of goes now. Just missed on each occasion. Lovely ball. Then the ball. Lost in midfield, and there's still plenty of white shirts forward here, skipping past one challenge. And then the shot comes in, and it's just wide of the upright. From Adama Traore. Oh, and the ball lost there. And now, Jordan Ayew comes forward. Diagonal run. Oh, a beautiful pass through there, and a brilliant save. For Mamadou Samasa. Here was the Ghana captain, Thomas... Rather shrugs his shoulders when he realises there was no one anywhere near, but they're both in one height. The pitch here again by Garner. Are they alive to the danger here? Brilliant tackle. Oh, and save on the line. And the shot comes in, and that's the winner, surely. Garner. The substitutes invade the pitch. And really, having been on the back foot for most of the game, it looks like they're going to take all three points. In. The referee with his work cut out. Keeping the substitutes under control, I think half the coaching staff are on the pitch as well. And in the end, Jordan Ayew. Gonna have a, a one here versus Mali. Congratulations to the Black Stars. Great match day three result. I'll see you guys in the next one. Enjoy your day.